Hey everybody, if you didn't know already, April is Limb Loss Awareness Month. And what does that really mean to anybody? Well, we're gonna find out. We're at the perfect place to learn more. We're here with our friends at Pad Specialists off of Staples, and I'm here with Dr. G to learn about limb loss and its correlation with PAD. So first of all, talk to me about how common limb loss is for people, especially here in Corpus Christi. So unfortunately, South Texas is really the epicenter in the United States of America. Uh, almost three million Americans live with limb loss presently and the number one risk factor is vascular disease, and that's what PAD is. PAD stands for peripheral arterial disease. Uh, statistically, more than half of patients who lose limbs are as a result of peripheral arterial disease. And if we look at Medicare data uh, for Americans, we're six times as likely in South Texas because of high incidence of diabetes and tobacco use than healthier communities like Colorado mm -hmm. um, to end up with limb loss as a result. So it is a real problem in the community. Most of us think about it, we know someone or have a family member who unfortunately has ended up losing toes and then their foot, their leg, and if we think even further, that ultimately leads to bigger problems. Then we acknowledge that there's heart disease, there's depression, and ultimately loss of life sooner. So it is a big, big issue for our community. Okay, good to know. And a serious topic, but something that we have to talk about, something to raise awareness about. And we were talking about this before the interview, but oftentimes we can be pretty stubborn for ourselves and notice kind of strange symptoms and sort of push it aside. So it's really important, even as a partner, to be mindful of changes with your significant other and maybe needing to encourage them to come in, right? Absolutely. One of the biggest things that I see and that I've learned over the past 10 years dealing with this is that most of us are in denial. We want to believe that we're still young and active and healthy and we really do try to be as best as we can but unfortunately what that means is that there is an educational barrier uh, we're not recognizing it soon enough for a lot of our patients ultimately by the time they come to us most of our patients have those risk factors they are tobacco users or were tobacco users they were diabetic high blood pressure high cholesterol maybe have kidney disease and all those things increase our likelihood Despite that, instead of having the understanding, if someone has chest pain, they go to the cardiologist or they go to the ER, mm -hmm. our patients are often in denial and say, I'm fat, I'm old, I lifted too much, and come up with reasons why they're not as active as they once were. And until they really are willing to look for the problem and acknowledge, hey, I should be able to cut my grass, I should be able to walk the mall, I should be able to go play catch with my kid in the park, uh, it's an issue. So spouses a lot of times are there to help keep us honest and say, he can't follow me around the mall anymore. He yeah. can't walk to the end of the aisle on HGB. I love and that. So we have to have that discussion for sure. Okay, good to know. All right, guys. So it's really important to take care of yourselves. Of course, diet and exercise come first. Be mindful of what you're experiencing and your partners. And if you have any questions, contact our friends at Pat Specialists. Where do we go for more information? Give a call the number on the screen. We'll take care of you. Love that. All right. Well, thank you for all the information. Limb Loss Awareness Month. Talk to your family about it. Make sure you're in the know. And if you need help, stop by and mention Coastal Living sent you.